Hello everyone, welcome back to Dentizen. Today we are here with a new video on enamel cuticle. We are continuing with our lectures on the topic enamel and enamel is made up of enamel rods. Now cuticle means a layer, an outer layer which protects that surface. So enamel cuticle is a layer which is present over the enamel, yes, and it protects the enamel and this is known as enamel cuticle. So it can come as a short note for you or it can be part of your long question where you have to talk about the microscopic structure of enamel in detail and you have to discuss all these things we have already discussed first aid in the previous videos in today's video we'll discuss about enamel cuticle in detail so let's begin before we start don't forget to subscribe to dentozen so that you keep getting such easy quick and informative videos on all dental topics also hit the bell icon so that you will be notified about new videos now let's understand first what is primary enamel cuticle now as you know enamel develops around inside the jaws so when it is formed here this black layer this enamel is formed here now it is covered by reduced enamel epithelium that is ameloblast cells after they have finished the formation of enamel they along with the other cells of enamel organ they compress and they form this layer which is known as reduced enamel epithelium now this reduced enamel epithelium that is ameloblast inside this will form another layer between this enamel and itself and this layer is known as enamel cuticle as you can see here this purple layer so we can say that that enamel cuticle primary enamel cuticle is a layer which is present between reduced enamel epithelium and the crown or the enamel of the newly formed tooth and it is the primary enamel cuticle now when the tooth erupts, starts to erupt or it has just erupted in the mouth, then this layer is known as Nismith's membrane. So your question can be on Nismith's membrane. So both can be used, both terms can be used. That is primary enamel cuticle as well as Nismith's membrane. So we can say when the crown tip has erupted in the mouth, then this is now called as Nismith's membrane. Now when the tooth has fully erupted in the mouth and is in function, then this Nismith's membrane is replaced by a layer from the saliva and now it is known as pellicle yes that can be your important viva question so what is pellicle after eruption of the tooth this nismith's membrane or primary enamel cuticle gets replaced from the mouth from the oral cavity from saliva and the proteins present in saliva now will form this layer and it is layer known as pellicle or slivery pellicle now Let's see what is happening. So it is primary enamel cuticle secreted by ameloblast in the reduced enamel epithelium. It is known also known as Nismith's membrane when it is tooth has just erupted in the mouth and with time this layer gets replaced by pellicle which comes from the salivary proteins. Now let's see what you have to write for your answer. So enamel cuticle primary enamel cuticle also known as Nismith's membrane it is a delicate membrane and it is 30 nanometers thick and where it is present it covers the entire crown entire enamel of newly erupted tooth very very important teeth which have just erupted they have this layer and soon this layer gets removed by mastication as we use teeth then this layer gets removed and under electron microscope the studies have indicated that this membrane resembles a structure which is called basal lamina what is basal lamina in chapter of oral mucosa we just discussed that there is oral epithelium and below that there is a membrane which is known as basement membrane which under electron microscope is called basal lamina so this Nismith's membrane or primary enamel cuticle has a structure similar to this basal lamina that can be your viva question. Now it is also visible under light microscope. Why? Because of its wavy course we can see this layer under light microscope as well. Now let's see what who is forming this layer. Yes our ameloblast our mighty ameloblast cell the cell which forms enamel also secretes this layer. So when enamel formation is complete once the ameloblast has done everything finally it lays down this enamel cuticle so we can say that cuticle is the end product of ameloblast cell remember that that can be your viva question now why do we need this cuticle what is the function of this cuticle now when the tooth has formed and it is not erupted it is surrounded by some tissue mesodermal tissue and there can be blood vessels blood vessels may have some cells which can actually come and damage this 
enamel so to protect this enamel so that these cells may not come this layer is present here so the function of this layer cuticle is to protect the enamel surface from resorption that means from getting destroyed by the adjacent vascular tissue now second function can be that it helps in the attachment of this reduced enamel epithelium layer to the enamel so with the help of primary enamel cuticle reduced enamel epithelium is remains attached to the formed enamel so in the cervical area we have cementum so we know that cementum cover, covers covers here which type a fibrillar cementum which is continuous continuation of cementum which is present on the root part so when this enamel organ with all the layers ameloblast and other layers the it retracts from this region it goes away from this region then a space is created here and then after that this cuticle is deposited so we can say cementum is mesodermal in origin and when is this cuticle secreted so when epithelial enamel organ it retracts from the cervical region it goes away space is created during tooth development and then this reduced enamel epithelium will secrete this primary enamel cuticle here over the crown so we can say now what is pellicle pellicle is that after the tooth eruption the primary enamel cuticle gets replaced by another layer from the salivary proteins so it is a precipitate of salivary proteins very very important that can be your viva question what is pellicle and where is it coming from so it is a precipitate of salivary proteins it is also known as salivary pellicle so it is coming from saliva now once the pellicle is removed after we clean the teeth this layer gets removed so enamel surface is mechanically clean and it layer gets removed but it will reform it reforms within hours after the cleaning and within a day or two if this pellicle is still there it gets colonized by microorganisms bacteria may come inside this layer and can form a house inside it so then it is known as bacterial plaque another very very important viva question so when pellicle gets colonized by microorganisms it is known as plaque now let's see the summary of enamel cuticle so primary enamel cuticle which is also known as the smith's membrane is 30 nanometer thick delicate membrane formed by ameloblast cell resembles basal lamina in structure and its function is to protect enamel and with time when the tooth is erupted in the mouth it gets replaced by pellicle what is pellicle it is a precipitate of salivary protein and when this pellicle gets colonized by microorganisms then it forms plaque so let's check what have you learned first about primary enamel cuticle it is also known as dash membrane it is secreted by what type of cells it has thickness of how much it is seen over dash of newly erupted teeth and it has a structure similar to typical dash lamina after eruption it gets replaced to form what now something about pellicle it is a precipitate of what type of proteins and when it is colonized by microorganisms then what do we call it so that is all for this video if you really enjoyed the video do tap on the like button share the video with your friends keep watching keep learning and yes keep smiling good luck for your exams see you in the next video till then take care bye bye